freedom is a very powerful thing. Even in rumors, it stays exciting. You see, when they closed the border, even people who have never had use for it were sad. Same when they opened. Parties by people who don't even know where it is. Yeah, people just want a good party. Some people you don't even have a relative the other side. Nothing. But do you know how you know that this whole border thing didn't concern you? If you catch yourself saying, hey, it has been closed for three years. Some of you just want to know that the border is open. But the use for that information, it's like how your mother used to buy plates for keeping. <laughs> you're there, you're at home with plates you don't use. Also, Rwanda is misleading. You can't be going around telling people visit Rwanda and ground you, you're changing your mind. Actually, Rwanda is okay. The, the joke is East African community. I wonder what their job is. Because how can a border be closed for three years? What excuse do you have? You forgot your phone inside it. A regular East African has not felt the impact of the East African community. I mean, Kenyans struggle to get work permits to work in Uganda. Ugandans struggle to get work permits to work in Kenya. The only thing we have gained from the East African community so far is the anthem. I don't even know what it means. It's not about you. Okay, let, let me think that probably they looked the other way because the matter was just between President Museveni and President Kagame, which now would mean President Museveni and President Kagame we should solve the matter between just themselves. Hey, don't bring us in. This whole thing of closing the border was overreacting. Because there's a bunch of things and options they would have picked from that people that are mad at each other usually do, and it works. Blue ticks, you know the pain they cause around the world. If someone sends you a message, read it, don't reply. There. Yeah. Or if you want to respond, just say, okay. Fight like normal people. Turn off last scene. If seven calls, don't pick. Don't pick. If the worst gets to the worst, block him. It works for us. It could work for you. Hang with his ex. There's a bunch of things you would have explored before closing the border. Or get a day. You show up at the border. And abuse yourselves. Well, let us be like normal people. Get there, you this side, the guys their side, you're like, you have a big head. This tells you, you have a big nose. It's like, you say that again, you'll see me. And like, you, you cross this line, you will see me. If he crosses the line, you make sure he sees you. Make sure he sees you good. But just you, don't bring us in. And I, I know now Chigali has Wi Fi across the city. <laughs> yes, if you know M7 is flying in, change password. Can I let us? Do things the way people have been fighting in the past. When more people than the concerned have to suffer, it, it feels like a lady having an issue with her husband, then she comes home and she announces, today no dinner. The kids are like, but mommy, what did we do? You, your father has to learn a lesson. The kids are like, but the lesson is coming at us. But how did they open the border in, in time for Valentine's? But I think, and, uh, and this goes to any other conflict out there, I mean, China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, blah. I, I find if a conflict ever gets you to, <laughs> to hurt more than the people that pissed you off, I think it becomes a... a sign of weakness. Ah, I didn't call anyone weak. Ah, you turn the camera and they see you. Turn the camera and they see you. Turn the camera and they see you.